With keyframes, your videos are never gonna be the same. Howdy everyone, in this video we're gonna check out keyframes and the different effects that we can use and create with them. Let's go take a look. All right, I've got my project ready to go with the clips that I'm gonna be working with in this video. And before we jump into keyframing, let me just uh, quickly explain again what keyframes are if you're not familiar with them already. Keyframes are anchor points on a video clip's timeline that mark the beginning and an end of a change. And that can be any kind of a change such as a rotation, crop, special effect, etc. And to work with keyframes, you need to click show keyframes at the bottom left by each layer. And you can apply keyframes to any positioning, transformation, or crop. Use the video slider to specify where you want the change to start. And in this case, it's going to be rotation. This is where you set the value of where you want the effect to start. And I'm gonna keep it at zero and click this dot right here. This adds a keyframe to the timeline and I designated the starting point for my effect. Next, let's move the slider to where we want the effect to end. And I'm gonna set the final value for rotation and then add it as a keyframe on the timeline. For the next clip to follow the previous one, I also add rotation. And I add a rotation keyframe to the beginning of the clip with the same value that it had at the end of the previous clip, which was a 180. Then I just add the endpoint, which I put at 360. You can now see how one clip turns and rotates into another during the rotation. And to make the transition a lot smoother, let's zoom in and move the keyframes as close together as possible. And the rotation transition is smoother. Another way to adjust keyframes is by using keyframe curves. Zoner Photo Studio X can work with curves. And once you've added more keyframes, you can customize the effect even more by simply moving a point along the curve or adding another. Open the layer using this little arrow here next to the rotation. And now let's click on this dot or double click a point on the timeline to add more keyframes and move them around how we particularly want. Next, we want the clip to smoothly darken towards the end, and we can do that using a transition effect or check show levels to work with opacity. For levels, you see a green segment above the selected clip, which you can use to change the opacity, and not only at the beginning and end, like with transition effects, but also in the middle. Click the green segment to add another point, which you can then move around. Now you can see how the clip's opacity has been changed. In addition to different transform and crop options, keyframes can also be used for image adjustments. For example, changing the colors and exposure in a certain part of the clip. I'll demonstrate exactly that on this butterfly right here. All right, I'm gonna to switch to image adjustments and again, set the beginning point and add a white balance keyframe. Then I add more keyframes with different values. Add a few more. And we now have a clip of a butterfly with changing white balance settings. Next, let's take a look at cropping. I would like to have two clips in the frame at the same time. And since the butterfly is in the middle of the frame, I have to move it left first so that it stays in the picture. All right, I'm gonna add the first keyframe with the current position. A little farther down the timeline, I'm gonna add another one, but offset by about negative 400 pixels, so it's far enough to the left. Then at the same time the clip is shifting, I'm gonna crop from the right side, ideally halfway down the frame to reveal the clip with the bird underneath it. Thank you. 
Now when I play this clip, the butterfly moves and the clip is cropped at the same time. As you can see, the bird gradually flies to the left side of the image, which is covered by the butterfly. And it would look great if the clip with the butterfly disappeared from the image, gradually revealing the flying bird. I'm gonna add two more keyframes, crop from the right, one from the current crop and another with the full crop. All right, and this is what the final clip looks like with the effects created using keyframing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think below. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe bell so you don't miss any other videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video covering our video module. Take care, see you later.